We've talked about fast start this week. We worked on fast start uh, after that first game against U of T. We didn't uh, start well, but today we really started well, and that first period was great. That was the best first period of the team till uh, till uh, August. Sabine and um, Bronzeburg were really, really good together. This one um, is that a matchup you'll see uh, going forward as far as lines go. Uh, Sabine and uh, Ronsberg have played together for a couple of weeks and they'll, they'll stick together. Yeah. This is a pretty good duo yeah. and uh, we're trying still to find an addition with them mm -hmm. to help them being better. Mm -hmm. That's what we, we're looking for now. And uh, obviously the penalties, uh, nine minor penalties in this one and the penalty kill six for nine. What do you need to work on as far as penalty kill and maybe staying out of penalty trouble? Both. <laughs> <laughs> so we start work on the, we have started working on our PK this week, mm -hmm. but we will work like for sure next week yeah. and be ready for Brock uh, Thursday and of course penalty as well, we'll talk about it. A, a lot of that seems to be attributed to almost the, the size of your players more than anything. Is there anything you do as far as like the, the aggression of those players taking penalties in this league or? We, we ask yeah. them, we ask them to play physical. Yeah. They, yeah. Have, they have to be, to play physical and within the rules. Yeah. So that's what we're going to address them this week. Uh, going forward into the next game, uh, any changes or things you're going to work on in practice this week going out on that four game road trip? PK, and we'll look at the first period. All right. Because we played great in the first. So we'll uh, try to repeat that first period for three periods. Um, it kind of all happened so fast that it, I'm just kind of used to it now. Since we had so many games leading into this game exhibition, which got us like really used to playing with one another, so it just felt pretty natural. It didn't feel like anything different. Yeah. Really. A team like York with a goaltender like uh, Megan Lee, who's been pretty good in this league for a lot of years, um, how do you, is it traffic to the front of the net, or what do you use to uh, go against goaltender like that? It's really getting her moving and traffic to the net. Like you, you kind of assume she's going to stop the first shot, so you kind of just got to be there for that second. Which what our both our goals came off of. They were never first shots. She's big, strong goaltender. She goes the whole net. 